it's been known for a long time that banging your head over and over and over and over again can be a bad thing. And I remember I hit the ground and I forgot where we were. I forgot what we were doing in the ring. I forgot what was coming next. And then gladly exposing myself to repetitive brain trauma concussions for 19 years. Members of the committee, this Friday night over a million kids will take to the football field. I'm certain that radical measures are needed for football to continue safely. No matter what kind of helmet you build, it is a dangerous sport. Cole Kafka, the Penn football team, committed suicide. He had 20 areas of his brain that were falling apart that were all going to keep spreading. I know that I've damaged my brain. I don't know where I am 10 years from now. I don't know where I am 20 years from now. After my first concussion, every time I would do heading, I would see stars. I was just like, oh my god, my head hurts so bad. She didn't pull herself out of the game, she didn't tell the coach, and she didn't tell us. I got hit from behind. People said I was on, I was on the ice for like four or five minutes. I don't even remember 20 seconds of it. So that's your brain. How much of you are you going to put on the line for a game? But what's the level of acceptable research? And what's the level of reasonable reform? If you only have one out of every 100 kids getting diagnosed with a concussion, you're missing them, and your kids are at terrible risk. I might look back and say I wished I had stopped him after this last concussion. He loves to play hockey, and we love watching him play hockey. I believe you just have to protect them as much as you can and, and pray.